What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got an interesting duel for you guys to check out. This is definitely no tier Yu Gi Oh! Maybe even no tier Yu Gi Oh! It's not a competitive duel in any sense and uh, any stretch of the imagination. And I will say that this duel's conclusion is going to be a little anticlimactic, but some of the decisions in this duel are so interesting and weird. And it's just going to make you at least a couple of times think, what the hell is that guy doing? Why is he running this card? That doesn't seem to make sense at all. But the title of this duel was called when spirits mess with your mind and maybe that's the point of this deck at the bottom is it just kind of it's maybe just to fuck with your opponent to like tilt them or something like that so yeah even though um there are no spirits in his opening hand in fact this is the opening hand of just <laughs> a super low tier deck i don't even know he's got golden apples i've always liked this card very similar to gores but uh this can this hand is really non-coherent at all but this is actually a spirit deck and then we have kind of like a machine deck at the top he's running solidarity because everything in the deck is machines. He has gadgets in there. He's got some Cyber Dragon cards. Let's go ahead and roll this. I think that machines are up first. So he's going to get the plus one off the green gadget. He's going to search the red. Solidarity cannot activate yet because uh, he has no graveyard, so he doesn't get that 800 boost. What did he actually set? So he goes for Legacy. Oh, he set the Penguin Soldier. He activates Legacy of Yadagurusu, so he gets a free card. Uh, the homie at the top is going to go for Gear Gear X. He's, get, he's going to get a plus, but uh, his card is basically just going to get bounced. He's playing multiple copies of Penguin Soldier. I did not even notice that the first time, and multiple Battle Fate. This, I tell you, this deck is all over the place. Now he's going to go Nikitama, Eratama. Now that that's actually pretty solid solid because you get a plus and uh i mean it's a decent amount of damage not a great amount of damage but you don't really get any field presence so he's going to summon the gold gadget then the yellow gadget uh searching gadgets is cool but if you can get the silver and gold it's better because then you can unload all those gadgets in your hand he attacks in the battle fader now he's going to go for Nikitama again. He's actually going to Tribute Summon in the Hino Kagasuchi, which is pretty cool. Now, he is going to be able to unload a little bit of his hand, and I believe he chose not to search there because he knows that Hino Kagasuchi was just going to do that. It was going to completely wreck his hand. Now, this is the part where his mind starts getting fucked with, right? He activates Skill Train, and I know what a lot of you guys are going to say. Mega Kappa G, what the fuck is this guy doing? Why is he running Skill Drain in a Spirit deck? Also, a deck that has flip effects that would be turned off by skill drain in addition to that let's close this out by the way he also runs tragodia which is another monster that would have its effect completely just turned off so i don't really know what's going on with the skill drain but i don't know guys maybe skill drain spirits is a you know next level meta or something like that he sets a copy of begone Nade. now his skill drain actually works out because he does have susa soldier which is 2000 Unfortunately, he, had, he his opponent has Gear Gigant X. He flips over the Begone Knave, which I have to pause because I've never actually seen that card resolved. <laughs> if you don't know what Begone Knave does, it basically says anytime a monster inflicts battle damage. Is it just your opponent or is it you? Okay, it's it's both players, so it's, just, it's really bad. Uh, anytime a monster does battle damage, it gets bounced to the hand, which I guess is fine if you're running spirits, but now that he has skill drain on the field, the spirits will not bounce to the hand. So I, I, I can't tell if this card is actually good in this situation, but it did make the Gear Gigant X actually bounce, and I believe that the Silver Gadget is going to bounce itself. He does use Golden Apples off of the attack of Silver Gadget, which uh, Golden Apples is, it's basically Gores, but uh, it just summons, it, it's kind of like, if you didn't get the gores you just got the token and uh, that will not be affected by skill drain now his opponent is getting that attack boost of solidarity which is actually pretty decent so you see he gets a 2300 attack token he gets his cyber dragon out now he's going to summon his uh his what's it called that was uh, damn, why can't I remember? I want to call this guy Cyber Soldier. It's not Cyber Soldier. It's Galaxy Soldier. I don't know why I was going to call it Cyber Soldier. Now he's just setting cards. Now his, this is the troll part. This is the troll part. His opponent top decks the Twin Twister to get rid of the skill drain. And he attacks into a fucking Penguin Soldier. Second one of the duel. And I think he got tilted at this point because he's going to end up like scooping two turns later. But I think he was like, okay, fuck this guy. He is clearly trolling because who on their right mind would flip over skill drain? drain in a spirit deck then set penguin soldier a flip effect monster that will clearly have its effect negated by skill drain and then when he outs the skill drain he actually does like he's able to use that uh, penguin soldier to get rid of the cybernova dragon which it would have been a problem if he had gone into uh infinity right there because getting rid of the skill drain obviously infinity would have just negated the uh the flip effect of the penguin soldier and 
Maybe the duel would have been a little different because, I, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, he's just going to, like, scoop right here. He has another solidarity, but you can see his hand is just pretty dead. And this doesn't, this obviously is, like, not the most competitive version of uh, Cyber Dragons. When you're using evac device on spirit monsters, you pretty much know that you're in a losing position. Yeah, he top decks the Mega Morph, and he's like, all right, Cap, I'm out of here, man. I got this Power Bond that I can't use. I got a Cyber Dragon that I can't summon against spirits because they don't keep their freaking monsters on the field. So, yeah, I don't really know what to make of this duel. Um, it, it was just... It was honestly all over the fucking place, but sometimes I do really appreciate low tier dueling and uh, low tier for life, guys. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and subscribe if you have not already.